Well, a Missouri state senator claims that her bill was hijacked by someone in her own political party. The proposed legislation centered around helping sexual assault survivors. But an amendment added to the bill changed the focus to another issue. KSHB 4119 reporter Cameron Taylor helps us better understand a part of the lawmaking process in Jefferson City. Why is it that we get so tunnel vision in here? Republican State Senator Holly Thompson Raider's focus has now turned to frustration. It's not the way that we should be legislating. A Missouri Senate bill she brought to the floor last week aimed to help sexual assault survivors. Another senator added an amendment to the bill. That's what we've been experiencing in the Missouri Senate. In, in recent weeks. The amendment would criminalize providing, quote, obscene material to children in schools. We can start off here with a, with a very bipartisan needed bill, like our bill for sexual assault survivors. And then all of a sudden, they, you know, some senators start getting very uh, salacious and you have, you know, it goes way up here really fast. Raiders bill would bring clarity and strengthen current state laws for survivors. It's a cause she knows about firsthand. I'm, I'm a survivor myself. The KSHB 41I team spoke with the sponsor of the amendment. The senator was quoted as saying her bill was hijacked. How do you respond to that? Oh, it wasn't hijacked. I mean, anyone and every single senator uh, on that floor has the capability to, to amend any bill at any time within uh, the, the parameters of the bill. And that's exactly what, what this did. Republican State Senator Rick Braden believes both pieces of legislation are important. Protecting survivors of sexual assault absolutely is, is critical, uh, but so is protecting our, our, the young minds of our children uh, while they're at school. We typically refer to them as riders, R-I-D-E-R-S, um, because they ride along with another piece of legislation and they're not connected to that legislation. UMKC political science professor Dr. Beth Benami says amendments like this are fairly common and not unique to Missouri. Dr. Benami says this is a textbook example. They typically happen because legislation is controversial and it won't get passed on its own. And so it gets attached to something that is very popular or has bipartisan support so that it can be passed. This bill hopefully will, will streamline things just a little bit more. When the Missouri Senate is back in session next week, Raider plans to bring it up again. This is a very necessary bill, and even though his is as well, his needs to work through the process and not become the issue when our bill is about those sexual assault survivors. Her hope is the amendment will be withdrawn, putting sexual assault survivors back into focus. For the KSHB 41I team, I'm Cameron Taylor.